guys, it is Labor Day or Memorial Day, whatever. It's Monday, and today we are going to pick up some rain barrels and do some other chores, get some fuel for the lawnmower and stuff like that. So, um, going to pick up two 55 gallon rain barrels and excited about this these are gonna go on the chicken coop man that sun is crazy that's why we put the gutter on there and all I'm gonna do is put both of them over there and we'll just move the filler tube from one to the other and they'll each have a, their own spigot and we'll just move the hose back and forth because I thought about linking them together so that when one fills up it starts filling up the other one but I, I don't really think that that's necessary we can do the little extra work of just moving the gutter to the other one to fill it up and moving the hose back and forth so that is the plan we should be able to get that done probably not today because we are having some family over cooking out probably won't get it done today but I will get it done this week probably when I get back from work but yeah that's what we're up to so hopefully you get to see some of that and as long as I do a good job filming, so. All right, I don't know if you can see behind me, right here. There's the barrels coming out of this driveway. Man, is it tight. People were real, were real nice. And he actually said that he could get more of these and get some, what I'm looking for is those IBC totes that have the cage around it. They're about 275 gallons. Some of them are 330 gallons. But anyway, he said he's gonna try to get some for me. So if he does, that would be awesome. That would be amazing. And yeah, nice people. I guess he has access to these type of things. So he's all had soap in them, and I guess where he gets them from, they got soap, or I, I don't know what, uh, he said he gets them from a town down 30 minutes from here. So I don't know. It's pretty cool though. So we're gonna make two rain barrels out of this, like I was saying earlier, to go over by the chicken coop. That'll give us 110 gallons over there. And then of course we have the one rain barrel that we put in the garden, that's 55 gallons. Once we get one of those, a tote or two, that is gonna really change game. So if we get one, Liv and I were talking last night. If we have one IBC tote, these two barrels and the barrel that we already have set up, that's around 100 gallons, somewhere like that. that with us and the animals that's gonna give us about one week one to two weeks one week is like if we were just going hog wild using as much water as we normally would it would be one week's worth of water for everyone on the on the homestead of course we could stretch it out probably make it into two weeks that's a start man that is a big difference from having no water storage to going to around two weeks worth. That makes me feel good, because we all know with all the things happening, we don't watch the news much, but with all the things happening in the world, you can't help but hear about it and get worried. And we've seen what has happened in the past, the last sickness, everything getting shut down and all the rules changing and people not being allowed to do what they wanna do. The more you can get self-sufficient to where you don't need to go to the grocery store you don't need to rely on the store to say well if you don't have the thing then you can't come in the store well if you don't need to go to the store you don't have to have the thing if you don't want to have the thing if you get what i'm laying down here that's the idea that's what we're going for so of course not having power or whatever something like that having water stored is going to be lifesaver I mean, you know, you can't live without water. If there's the one thing, there's one thing you should be prepared having preparation, it's water and food. 
everything else you can maybe figure out. I'm very excited to have water storage. Very excited that we are moving towards our goals and we are, I mean, we're taking big strides. Just one year ago, our homestead was, was uh, nothing, basically. We had a few goats. We didn't store water. We didn't can our vegetables. We did have a garden and stuff like that, but we didn't. We weren't taking it serious. So now, this year we said, let's take it, you know, I've said it a million times, this year was the year we were either gonna make it or break it. We will hopefully cut to maybe these being done or me working on them because I, I have to put spigots and cut the tops and all that. You guys have seen this on the channel already once, but we're gonna do it again. So we'll see you when we're working on the barrels. Okay, so the dang goats keep getting out. And uh, of course, Liv is not here. Oh, what is this? You just got out right in front of me. Um, they just keep getting out and I keep chasing them around. And <laughs> uh, I guess the electric fence isn't working right or something. So, I don't know. Lucy, impossible to catch. This one, Snickers maybe is her name. She just got out right in front of me, came straight through the uh, fence here. And I, that's what, I don't think that's really shocking that good because I can hear it popping over there somewhere. So we gotta get these two back in there. Or we, I'll probably just put them in there actually so they don't keep getting out. Something I, th I forgot to film, and uh, I guess I've talked about it, or I don't know if I have or not, but is our rain barrels that we put over by the coop. So we have two of them. There's Mufasa. Um, they're 55 gallons. They're cleaned out. We put the, the spigot on here from Amazon. They're about 20 bucks. And... Uh, obviously we did the gutter catch the rain and this thing has worked out perfect we put a little extension when we fill the blue one up uh, as you can see it's already got some water in it and that has been working out well um, the white bucket has already been full once so everything's working good on the rain catchment and uh, I mean, because it's been so dry this year, you know, we've been trying to keep some water in these barrels. Just, I don't know, in case. It's crazy how little rain we've gotten in the last month or two. So, but the real plan, like a normal year when we get rain, uh, we would use that water to water the goats and the dogs and the chickens and all that because it'll be refilled so quickly, normally. You know, normally in Virginia, we get rain pretty often in the summer, but not this year. So anyway, it's just kind of a preparedness item that we like to have. And uh, we want to expand our water storage because, like I say, we don't know when it's, you know, you don't know when it's going to rain. So that's that. Mm -hmm. 